In this demonstration, we're going to be showing the database lookup uh, capabilities of Capture Pro software. With database lookup, you can more efficiently and more effectively uh, index documents uh, for a downstream imaging system. Uh, instead of having to key data enter in uh, you know, lots of index fields, with database lookup, you can use one key field to look up the other pieces of, of index data from a database and populate uh, other index fields. The database lookup capability in Capture Pro software can either be done on the fly during scanning if you're automatically capturing that key index field data, uh, such as from a barcode or zonal OCR, or it can be done post scanning as a you know a post scanning operation where you'll key data enter the the, the key index field and then see the uh, day, the other index fields being populated. For this particular demo we're going to be doing the database lookup as a post scanning operation. I've created a batch in a, in a job called DB lookup health claims. This job will perform document separation uh, based on a patch code which are a patch code exists on all of these health claim forms and we're using the dual stream capabilities of uh, the I-1300 scanner as well as the electronic uh, color dropout of capabilities of the I-1300 scanner as well. And this will help our uh, the key data entry uh, process. So as you can see here, I, I have uh, 10 documents scanned in. What I'm now going to do is navigate back to the first document in the batch by clicking on, on the first image in the thumbnail viewer. And now I'm going to go into indexing mode by clicking on the edit index field button. And I get brought to my, my first document where I have the insured ID. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to enter in my insured ID, which in this case is 891-66-247 I'm going to hit the tab key to navigate to the next index field and the database lookup is going to be performed using the insured ID to populate the rest of these fields. Database lookup capability in Capture Pro software works with any ODBC compliant database such as Microsoft Access or SQL Server. You can also do it on a flat text file or an Excel file where you may have the uh, metadata to be used for a database lookup. Again, it still uses ODBC to interface with any of those uh, databases, whether it's a, a true database like Access or SQL Server or a flat text delimited file. So when I tab to the next field, it performs the database lookup. I can then click on the Next Document button or the in this case the enter key because I've defined if I go to my index menu and click on define enter key behavior it's actually configured for next invalid which should take me to the next the next document that has an invalid index field so it takes me to my insured ID field here now in lieu of keying in this data, I can use the drag and drop OCR uh, capabilities of Capture Pro software to draw a box around the, the data that I'm, the, the insured ID. And when I do that, it'll automatically populate the insured ID field by doing a drag and drop OCR and perform a database lookup. And then I can continue navigating from a document to document. Now if I encounter a entry in my database where there's multiple results, Capture Pro software will present you with a multiple lookup results dialog where you can then select the appropriate value or the appropriate the entry in the database for uh, this particular document. So in this case, my patient name is Grant Geiger. So I actually want to select my second entry here and then say OK to complete the database lookup process. And I can continue indexing the rest of the batch in this fashion. So again, I have another multiple lookup results here. This one happens to be for Donald Darling, so I'll just say OK because that entry is already highlighted does the, the database lookup, I hit the enter key or I can hit the next 
document or next invalid key to take me to the next document that, that needs indexing. And I can continue on using drag and drop OCR and uh, database lookup to index the uh, uh, rest of the documents. Notice how easy it is using database lookup to effectively index this batch without having to key all of that data in for the insured name, the employer, the insurance plan. All that information is already in my customer's database. I'm just using a key entry, in this case the insured ID, to perform the database lookup. Here I have another uh, multiple results. This one is for Aaron Eisner, which is the first entry already, so I click OK. Navigate to my next document and continue indexing. One option that I talked about earlier is a uh, database lookup can either be performed on the fly during scanning uh, or as a post-scanning operation. So let's go into job setup and kind of show you how the database lookup works. All right, database lookup from a setup standpoint is located in the indexing tab of, of job setup. And you can see I have all of my index fields to find. There's a new tab that exists in, in the indexing area of job setup called the database lookup. When I click on this, what I do is I set up a lookup name. Uh, my lookup name happens to be patient information. And I, if I go in and edit that, uh, I can, we'll, we'll show you the, the various settings that have been set up. First thing you have to do if you have to type in a, a lookup name, uh, this is just a name for Capture Pro software to use to identify the uh, database lookup that, that you're going to be performing. Next thing you need to do is you need to uh, specify the data source name. As mentioned previously, database lookup works on ODBC data sources, so you must have an ODBC data source defined. I'll show you at the end of this demonstration how to set up an ODBC data source. But I have set up a, a data source called patient information. And then uh, once you select the data source, you can then select which table, which database table that's in your database to use for the lookup. If, if I navigate to the next screen, there's a database lookup wizard. There are four screens as, as part of this lookup, this, this setup wizard. In database lookup, I can do a couple different things. I can either populate index fields from doing a lookup, and that's what we did in this demonstration, or I can just validate that a particular index field that's been entered is a valid entry in my, my database table. In either case, I need to specify the actual lookup index field, and this is the document index field or batch index fields that has been defined in Capture Pro software. Then I need to specify the column in my database that this field corresponds to. So these are the actual columns in the sample database that is supplied with the demo job called DB Lookup Health Claims. After you do that, you then provide a mapping for all of the index fields in Capture Pro software, which is on this left-hand column over here, the index fields in Capture Pro software that, that you want to populate, and which column in the database is going to be used to populate that particular index field. So there's basically a one-to-one -one matching that takes place. And as you can see here, we have, have specified for the rest of the index fields for this job which column in the database the, that that's going to be used to populate that index field. After you've set that up, you now have some options. And here is where we can configure database lookup to be done either as a post-scanning operation or on the fly during scanning. If your database is in a network environment and you're scanning with a very high volume scanner and you might have a very large database with hundreds of thousands of, of records, it may take a little while to perform a database lookup. So you might choose to not do it on the fly during scanning because it may affect scanning performance. So as a result, you may want to do what I've done here and that is disable the, the lookup during scanning. If you want to perform the lookup during scanning, then you would actually uncheck this option. And there are other options. Let's say that a user wants to override a piece of, of data in their database because it was incorrect. 
and they actually know what value it should be, they can go in and type in or, or correct something that might be wrong in your table. And so in that case, you'd want to not overwrite any, any index data from the, the database table. You, you want to have the option of the user correcting what a, a database lookup might have populated in an index field. So there are several options there. And then finally, you have a, a chance at the end to make sure that you've set up your database connection properly by clicking on the test query button. You can either enter in some search criteria or just hit the OK button and it'll retrieve the first 25 records from your uh, database and show you that you have in fact set everything up properly. So that's how you set up a uh, database lookup. Now let's talk about how you would set up a ODBC data source. In, in, in this particular job, the, the data source, if I edit uh, this again, my data source name happens to be patient information, how you would set up an, an ODBC data source.